Hey everyone, I'm Elizabeth Kuhn here for another episode of State Champs at the State Finals. We're going to start with some girls tennis state championships in Division 4 in Kalamazoo. On a beautiful sunny day inside Stowe Stadium at Kalamazoo College, it was more than the perfect setting for the Division 4 girls tennis state finals. Last year's champions Ann Arbor Green Hills came back in full force competing with four finalists in singles and three sets of finalists in doubles. The Griffins ran away with the singles matches with all four finalists capturing state championships in straight sets. Sophomore Maddie Morgan, who last year lost in the semis at number one singles as a three seed, has made a full comeback, winning her sets six to four and six to three, capturing her first ever state championship. We've had a very strong showing in like the, uh, the younger grades, like uh, ninth and 10th graders are like really strong on our team. But our team always hasn't been like this, like our team has struggled in the past, particularly like a few years ago, like we didn't make it to states at all. So I think just like building off of each year and like every single um, match trying to get a little bit better has really paid off over these past couple of years. Now we've repeated twice, so. With a dominant total of 36 points, Green Hills has collected their second consecutive team state championship. It's the first time that the Griffins have captured back-to-back -back state titles in the history of the girls program. What we're really proud of is the fact that, that we've had fun regardless of whether we've had great results at the states and that our kids come back and that they form a wonderful sisterhood uh, and they're great scholar athletes. And I know that I speak for a lot of my fellow coaches when I say that that's, that's the really important thing. The finals came to an end with an intense matchup in doubles. Sophie Chen and Lauren Yi of the Ann Arbor Green Hills taking on Jade Horkoff and Kayla Nasso of Bloomfield Hills Academy of the Sacred Heart. The Gazelles took the first set in a close battle winning seven games to five. Chen and Yi would respond by tying things up at six games apiece in the second set. On to extra games we go. The Gazelles with the advantage. Nafso puts over the serve, but the return shot goes out of bounds, and that is the result of the third doubles championship for Sacred Heart on the day. Nafso and Horkoff each winning their second state title in doubles, and the Gazelles finished in third place with 17 points. Um, it was awesome. It was amazing. I really enjoy playing with Kayla. We're really good partners. We make a good team. And it was a battle. It was a fight. Um, it was semifinals was hard for us, and they really challenged us in the last match, too. But we pulled out with a win. The last point, you know, I had a gut feeling I knew we were going to pull through in the end. And, you know, our opponents were great players, and I knew it was going to be a fight. And we had lost to them every other time we played them. So that last point was like a weight lifted off my shoulder. I felt like we conquered the world. It was great. Grand Rapids West Catholic was very volley heavy and aggressive. And then this team was like not as volley heavy and they're better at ground strokers. So it was a tale of two. And so it was just, they had a rough day of it because they just had so many different styles they're going at. But they molded and adapted and went double back when they needed to, and went consistent when they needed to, and they went aggressive when they needed to, and they just did a really, really good job. And I'm really proud of them, I'm proud of the fight. We, know we pride ourselves on having grit, gazelle grit, and it showed on day two. I'm Kevin Chorzynski, and we head over to Ann Arbor for the Division Three Girls Tennis Finals. Grand Rapids Christian, Cranbrook, and Detroit Country Day always near the top on this day, but only one team will be crowned champion. We start off with doubles, flight three, in green from Cranbrook, Madeline Day and Sanvi Upad Yayala taking on Grand Rapids Christians Olivia Cook and Ava Jerk wearing white. It would be the duo Cook and Jerk from Grand Rapids Christian taking home the Flight 3 doubles crown in two sets. <laughs> Over to singles flight four matchup between Olivia Zhang from Cranbrook and Helen Benjamin from Detroit Country Day. Zhang took the first one 6-2, but Benjamin tried her best to extend the match, but it was not enough to knock this crane off her game. Olivia Zhang is your four singles champion. Now onto four doubles. Josie Pashla and Gia Gill for Detroit Country Day as they squared up against Cranbrook's Michelle Chen and Jessica Hall. And this was a close one. A third set was needed to decide a champion. Pashla and Gill would get the job done here with the clutch hit and are your four doubles champion.
three singles matchup saw Cranbrook, Sienna Illich taking on Melanie Bandara from Detroit Country Day. The first set going a little extra with Illich taking that 175. The junior Crane would take the next one to win the third flight singles championship. Illich won this match last year and goes back to back. Um, it was a special and tough match. Um, it was very competitive. She played well. She played great, and uh, we had a lot of fun. I just, you know, I stuck with it, and one of my, um, like, things I always go to is I never give up. Like, no matter how far down I am, I always try and come back and give it my all and give it my best shot. Next up, two doubles. Grace Zang and Sophia Koza from Cranbrook battle against Detroit Country Day's Arya Sai, Red Hat Rishnan, and Brooke Lopez. The ladies from Cranbrook Kingswood took this one in two, both at 6-2. Zang and Koza are your two doubles champions. Jumping to singles flight number two, it was Natalie Portenga from Grand Rapids Christian in white taking on Cranbrook's Shara Martella. This one belonged to the senior from Grand Rapids Christian. Portenga won the first set 6-3 and dominated the second 6-0 and is your singles flight two champion. Closing out the last doubles match of the day, and it's the first flight. Mar Norlander and Peja Lyles in white from Detroit Country Day, and in green for Cranbrook, Darren Kraus and Kaylee Lala. The Country Day pair of Norlander and Lyles cruising to the victory in two to take the one dub championship. And finally, the first flight of singles match was a clash between Bryn Aukman from Grand Rapids Christian and Julia Gern from Pontiac Notre Dame. It would be the sophomore from Grand Rapids Christian easily taking home the crown in two sets. The final team results had Grand Rapids Christian finishing runner-up just missing out by two points. And it would be the Cranes from Cranbrook Kingswood capturing their second title in a row and is your 2023 Division III Girls Tennis Champions. It's way up there. I mean, we won it last year, but uh, we won it convincingly, six out of eight flights. And this year we won by one point. Um, and it was a contribution of really every single person had to step up and win. So it's been a long two emotional two days, but uh, to close it uh, for our second state championship in a row is, is huge. No, you know, we just really focus on getting better every day. And, um, you know, we knew that there were four or five really good teams in the state this year. And I actually thought we were underdogs coming in, quite honestly. And um, again, we had to come through in multiple wins that we had lost to earlier in the year to win it. So it was really special. I'm proud of the girls. I told them from the beginning I really loved this team because um, there was no real egos. They supported each other. Uh, they. Uh, really represent what high school athletics is all about, just teamwork and supporting each other and staying together through adversity. And uh, I just thought they did a wonderful job. I'm so proud of them. Um, well, I'm really excited and I'm really proud of my team. I knew we could do it. Um, throughout the whole season, we were just like, you know, in practices, play like how you're going to play in the court and just do your best and never give up. I'm Greg Molson at the Midland Tennis Center for the Division II Girls Tennis State Finals. That's Lily Ullman from Forest Hill Central serving up the ace. The second seed took the first set over top seeded Helena Piotrowski of Gross Point North 6-2. The second set was much closer, but Ullman was able to battle from behind to force a deciding tiebreaker. And with a chance to finish it off, she dominated, taking it 7-2 to win the one single state title. And she was an emotional champion. That's crazy. I'm the first one in FHG history. First female one single state champion. And I've been dreaming of this for over a year. 
it's just crazy. Like I'm so grateful to God, the universe, and myself, and everyone who's helped me get this far. This, this, this is literally a dream country. I've been dreaming about it every day for the past year. At two singles, that's Birmingham Seaholm's Courtney Markham in the far court getting off to a great start. Check out the winner on the first point of the match. Markham would also get the final point of the match, outlasting Anna Dinsmore of Port Central to win a tough three-set final, 6-4, 2-6, The cheering at the end was really helpful and uplifting. Um, I lost my confidence a lot, so it was good to have my team behind me. It was a matchup of the same two teams, but with a different result at three singles as Portage Central freshman Adeli Chen knocks off Seaholm's Jada Josephovsky 7-5-6-4. At four singles, it was a showdown between two Forest Hills freshmen, Northern's Harriet Ogilvie taking on Central's Chloe Cox, and it was Ogilvie winning in straight sets 6-1-6-2. Moving to one doubles, it was Forest Hills Northern in a great back and forth match with Seaholm. The Northern team of Ryan Morey and Paige McKenzie won the first set six love, but the Seaholm team of Tatum Hirsch and Ellie Wizikowski bounced back to take the second six four. They were tied at five in the third set when Northern takes the final two games to win it seven five. It was the third straight state championship for Morey but the first for McKenzie. Yeah, I mean, it, it feels pretty good. I mean, I was more just, I was proud of my partner, you know, like I was so she proud of stepped you too. up, like she was four doubles last year and she stepped in to play with me and she made me so proud, so yeah. Forest Hills Northern was hoping to win its fourth straight team state title, but the Huskies ended up tied for second with their crosstown rivals from Forest Hill Central, each team with 27 points. The team champion would be decided in the rest of the doubles finals, with Birmingham Seaholm dominating. At two doubles, the Maples get a key win over Forest Hills Northern, with the team of Katie Slazinski and Jenna Ting winning 6-3, 6-1. Seaholm also cruised to the title at three doubles with the team of Sydney Fong and Jordan Lusky winning 6-2, 6-1 over Forest Hills Central. And finally, it was one more Seaholm win over Forest Hills Central with Stella North and Lucy Jen winning 6-love, six 6-4, six giving the Maples a team total of 32 points ending the four-year reign of Forest Hills Northern and giving Birmingham Seaholm its first state championship since 2018. It feels awesome. Uh, first of all, we started the year fourth in the state to come all the way to first. We got killed early in the year by, by Forest Hills Northern. They're a great team, um, but our girls, total team effort this weekend. Um, and I'm just so proud of our team and, and the effort we put in. Oh, 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 we are Seaholm! Oh, 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 oh. I'm Chris Gorski at Hope College for the Division I Girls Tennis State Finals. And we start at one singles. Top seeded Sari Wu from Ann Arbor Skyline taking on third seeded Nicole Fu from Rochester Adams. Early on, we see Wu moving her opponent before hitting a cross court backhand for the winner as she took an early lead. But Fu would not go away without a fight she drives a forehand winner into the corner as she tries to rally. After a nice rally here, Wu works her way up and smacks a forehand winner, and the junior takes the medal at one single, 6-3, 6-4. I guess I'm really excited to call myself a state champion because when I was a freshman, I was a state finalist and I lost to Pioneer, but it means a lot. Over at two singles, Bloomfield Hill senior Reagan Tamina battled her way into the finals from the third seed. Here she hits a forehand winner as she brings home the championship at two singles. Next up, we head to one doubles. Top seeded Grace Zhu and Nika Tanako split their opponents with the winner here, and they would lead a dominant showing in the doubles for the Colts. 
At two dubs, we would see a three set showdown where Varsha Panumale and Vienna TU came away with another doubles championship for Troy. Next up at three dubs, we saw another three set match with Troy's Hannah Lee and Michelle Bake coming away with the medals for the Colts as Troy would finish second as a team on the day. At four doubles, Ann Arbor Pioneer would drop the first set before Noah Gluskin and Jessica Primus rallied to come away with the win for the Pioneers. I can't feel anything, like my feet are numb and I love it and I'm so happy to be here. I'm just so happy that we won. Honestly, we came in with the mentality of let's just get through today and we've already met our seed. So let's just not be stressed on court and it worked out. Beautiful audience, like beautiful sport. I'm, it was really fun. Top seeded Sophia Lang would have an impressive day at four singles she took her match in straight sets to give the Pioneers another first place finish. Oh, it's so nice knowing that hard work gets you so many nice things and all these nice moments that you can share and cherish for the rest of your life. And finally, at three singles, top seeded Juliana Pullen, granddaughter of coach Tom Pullen, would finish her high school career with a first place finish at three singles. I, I grew up with Pioneer Tennis. My coach has been the, my grandfather has been the coach for 30 something years. I've grown up with this. I've been to the tournament since I was a little kid. And coming in my freshman year was, it was crazy because like I was finally on the team that I'd been, you know, watching my whole life. And I'm very glad to have been on this team. Ann Arbor Pioneer would come away with a team championship, claiming their third straight state title. I started, when I started coaching, it was with my sons. And now I've got my granddaughter. I will not be around for my great-grandchildren, okay? I promise you that. So it, it's really nice when it's all over with and they've come through, you know, like they have all season. We played well all season and it's, it's nice that we finished on a high note. That wraps up another episode of State Champs at the State Finals. We want to say congratulations to all the winners and that wraps up our show. State Champs at the State Finals is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Find out more about the athletic programs that is offered at LTU, visit ltuathletics.com, the Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics, the Michigan Army National Guard, the Detroit Athletic Club Foundation, 